Hey, welcome to Module 6, all integrating call flow with Genesis Cloud. Let's go ahead and get started. So agenda on this one is an uh, overview of Genesis Cloud integration, integrating those call flows with queues, users, groups, uh, IVR, routing, etc. So overview of, of the integration. So integrating call flows with Genesis Cloud involves designing, configuring, and deploying call flows within the architect application to effectively manage incoming and outgoing calls in your contact center. Seamless integration is crucial for efficient co contact center operations as it streamlines processes, improves in communication, and enhances the overall customer experience. Now, setting up queues, we've kind of talked in other uh, modules. You have probably you've already done some hands-on um, exercises for this, but it is extremely easy. Um, from, the, uh, from the place where you're able to click and drag, uh, you'll see that the, especially the highlighted one right here, transfer with skill, this is an example, but you're transferring to a particular queue. There is a drop down that you can use as a queue. Uh, also on the right hand side, you'll see that there is a paper document. If you do a drop down there, you can actually also set a variable um, that's been, you know, that's been set uh, earlier in the, earlier in the call flow, you'd be able to actually call that variable uh, in order to send it to what queue you have. Also in queue activity, there's an override, it says override default in queue act handling. If you create a different in queue flow, um, you would be able to then do a drop down and set that. You have some pre-transfer and failed transfer audio here that you can set. You can also set some priority. You can see here I have this, um, I'm calling the, the task from a previous one uh, to get the priority from that. And then I'm also to call on the skill. Language skills default for English for this particular call flow. Uh, and there is no preferred agents. So queue setup step by step. This is just uh, for your information. There is a hands-on exercise, I believe, in this uh, in this module for that. Um, but this is just the the step by step. I'm not going to go through this because you guys are going to be able to go through this in the hands-on exercise. But this is here just for your knowledge. So transfer to user and transfer to group. It's a little bit different than transfer to queue, obviously. Uh, transfer to queue. If you notice, this is the one that we had in the previous screenshot. Um, that's going to be um, being able to go to, to queues. Uh, transfer to user, essentially, uh, using my name here, you can transfer to any, any user. You can kind of see I'm basing this off of data action. If, if for whatever reason the data action fails, uh, you could transfer this maybe to the user that handles those data actions. That way someone would at least would get somebody. Usually you're not going to transfer to a user in ACD flow, though. Uh, transfer to a group is another thing. That's for just timeout. Um, this is just an example. Obviously, I would not use for failure in time. I'd probably have it flow to like a voicemail of that same same queue. But this just give you, gives you an example of, of the different things that you can do. Uh, this is setting up the users and the group step by step. Um, I'm not going to go through this again. This is going to be like the other thing. Um, I'm just adding this detail here. That way you guys have this for a step by step and you can kind of look back and reference it. So integrating call flows with the IVR. Uh, interactive voice response is what that means. It's a crucial component of contact center operations, allows customers to interact with an automated system via voice or touch tone prompts. Essentially, uh, obviously you can do speech rec as well. Uh, essentially, this is the IVR. This is the, when they come in here, they get that welcome prompt. There's a menu that they can select, you know, maybe they want sales or support, uh, billing. Um, it, then based off that, you know, based off that option they select or the input they select, um, it will then route to a certain thing. Maybe it does some schedule check, then it, it lands into the queue to get help. Um, the screenshot you see here is a speech recognition for this. So this is part of the whole thing. It By default, it's enabled um, for the whole flow. Company director is a little bit different. That's uh, if you have extensions and you want to allow someone to enter a four digit or whatever the extension you have uh, to be able to get to that person. Obviously it's disabled by default in this. And then there's some confidence levels. Um, one thing it is in in speech rec for Genesis Cloud, as as in almost every other place, is it's extremely sensitive. So you could start speaking, or there could be background noise. That's going to affect um, them, you know, saying billing. Uh, if someone says in the background, that thing's going to try listening right away, uh, and may cause some issues. So typically disable that uh, unless they specifically want it. But here's some confidence levels, making sure that there's some timeouts there. These are all defaults. We usually don't mess with those too much. This is the setup for routing step-by-step -step of creating the queues, the routing method, assigning agents to queues, agent skills, architect call flow, inbound phone numbers, and testing your routing setup. In various hands-on exercises, all of these will be covered. 
Um, I'm not going to go through this. I did this explanation, in-depth explanation here, so you guys had this as reference. It is a lot to go through, but essentially just look at the 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 headings or the titles of each of these, and that's the things that are going to happen during this hands-on exercise. So some of the tips for successful integration. Ensuring consistent naming conventions between Architect and Genesis Cloud. I know we've kind of touched base on a few of these or all three of these in other ones, but it's still important, and that's why they... That's why we keep having them on here. Making sure that test those integrations thoroughly before deployment as you know, as always. Um, monitor and optimize call flow integration for best, best performance. That's where that common module of call logs comes in. There's some also some good optimization and monitoring of call flow integration within Genesis Cloud. That's out of the purview of this, um, this module here. I think it goes on into a later module though. And finally, conclusion. Uh, integrating call flows with Genesis Cloud is crucial for creating a unified contact center that streamlines operations and delivers a seamless customer experience. And as you become familiar with the capability of Genesis Cloud and its components, you'll be better equipped to design and implement those call flows that deliver exceptional customer experiences. So just keep in mind, we have a lot of data here that we went through in this module here. Some of those uh, slides I did skip and they're only included because of um, because of the reference points that you're able to make later down the road in case you forget something, uh, or just to make sure you, you can test yourself to make sure you've hit all those steps. Um, but in these modules, I think there's three uh, hands-on modules that are in part of this, this module six. Um, get familiar with those, spend as much time as you need on those. There's also that Q&A that comes up after, after that. Uh, be sure to take that, make sure you, uh, you completely understand before moving on to module seven. See you there.